Oh, hey, say, Doranodons, I promised Lily a picnic tomorrow at the Big Pond Beach. Care to join us? <gasps> Can we go, Dad? Please? Well, it's fine with me. Plus, it'll get Larry away from my trees and leaves. Yay! A picnic! <laughs> Great! Tomorrow, then, it's a plan. Hey, look at those clouds. They look darker. I wonder what that means. Yeah, they're probably full of rain. Larry, you may want to make a different plan for the picnic at the beach. Ah! <laughs> it's not going to rain. We're having a picnic tomorrow. In fact, listen to this. If it does rain tomorrow, I will personally get dinner for you and your whole family. Really? Really? Really. Well, dinner sounds good to me, Larry. And who knows, maybe it won't rain, but I think that... So we'll meet tomorrow morning at the station and ride the dinosaur train to the big pond together for a picnic. <laughs> It'll be a bright, sunny day all day. Well, hello, Pteranodons! What do you know? Blue skies. Is it raining? Oh, wait. It's not raining. Is it? You're right, Larry. It's not raining. Now. Look! Part of the sky is getting cloudy. <laughs> Let's not start with that silly clouds or water and make rain talk. <laughs> Hello, Pteranodons and Lambiosauruses. Hello, Mr. Conductor. We're going to the big pond for a picnic. And it's a perfect sunny day for it. No clouds or rain to get in the way. <laughs> okay, kids, hop on board. <laughs> all aboard! Mr. Lampiosaurus, all aboard. Hmm. It sure looks like the ray is coming from those clouds. Sure does, Don. <laughs> Mr. Conductor, what do you know about clouds? Everything? Well, <laughs> not everything. Uh, that's why I like to explore, so I can learn more. And I do like clouds, Miss Tiny. Clouds form when air is heated by the sun. The hot air rises and cools, making water droplets that come together to form a cloud. So all the clouds we see are full of water? Yes, indeed, Dawn. Clouds are made of billions of tiny droplets of water or ice crystals that are so light they can float in the air. Oh, God! <sighs> so, then why do the clouds make rain? <laughs> Excellent question, Shiny. I agree. And the answer is simple. When a cloud becomes too heavy with so many drops of water, it has to release them. So it rains. But what always fascinated me about clouds were that there are different kinds. Voila! Don't they look different from each other? These are called cirrus clouds. They're thin, wispy clouds made mostly of ice. Next are the stratus clouds. They're usually grayish and large, covering the entire sky like a big fog. And these third clouds are called cumulus. They are the whitest and puffiest ones. Uh, I see those all the time. They really look like they're made of nothing. Actually, Mr. Lambiosaurus, cumulus clouds are definitely made of water. You see, they can turn into very dark thunderstorm clouds and produce a lot of rain. Dinosaur oh, once upon a time there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one.